Molly, do you really believe in ghosts? My grandma likes to ask me this question whenever I come over to visit. It's one of our favorite topics. These days, her memory only lasts about three to five minutes. So now, I've had a lot of practice answering it. Molly, how old am I? 90. 90. What are we going to end up doing? I've shocked myself. Finding myself this old. I got about three and a half minutes left for my life. And I'd like to do something. I mean, I was just recently walking her down the street, and I we said, this is a leaf, yeah. and this is, and that's yesterday. Yeah. My brain is working. It's like, here's the idea, and it's working like this toward that, and it won't quite get there. It doesn't quite settle. I'm thinking the other night, what was it? I was trying to remember something about Milt. And I think I could feel his hand on my wrist. So do you believe in ghosts? Well, she's asking me just shortly before I become one. Well, I've got to practice a little for us, ma'am. I tell her, I don't know what ghosts are, but I do believe there is more to life than what I know. And yes, I do believe they are real, in a way. I tell her, we make them real. I think they are real because though it seems at times like her mind has abandoned her, our minds are powerful, mysterious tools that can create what is needed. And sometimes, if the world doesn't quite take the shape that you once knew, and things aren't what you expect them to be, a ghost is simply a thing that we can't understand fully, but is always with us. And there's comfort in that. Where did I meet Milton? I don't know where you met him, but I remember that you said that the sexiest thing about him was the red hair on his arm. <laughs> what am I doing here? Am I on this planet? Yeah. What makes me me? Well, you still look like you to me. You still sound like you to me. You still act like you to me. You know, I'm getting down toward the end. I'm frightened. I don't know how to finish it. I can see you as a little girl, very little girl, walking down the street and coming to a plant he said, leaf, it's a leaf. Well, you know, I can't really describe what life has meant to me. But I am so goddamn grateful. 